is good looking. Oh yeah. That's jazz singer Lena Horn. It fits in with the first installment of a new segment on WFAA that I am. I'm just so excited to tell you guys about. It's all about people and organizations working to uplift and inspire others. Most importantly, to advance the culture, you know, whatever that means to the communities that you're living in. So from Fort Worth to Denton, Frisco to McKinney, and y'all know we putting on for the Triple D. This series is all fueled by you guys. So let me know if you know someone, a company or an organization doing the most for the culture. Our first story takes us to Trinity Groves, where three serial entrepreneurs chose to step out on faith during a pandemic and culture is quite literally infused in everything they do. This vision, I'm gonna say it was divinely inspired. One of our most popular lattes, of course, is the Ella Fitzgerald. The Lena Horn is the lavender, it has lavender in it. From the moment you walk in. Soiree is about coffee, community, and camaraderie. You can feel the vibes. We literally want that to be the atmosphere. We want people to feel welcome. Uh, we want people to feel love. And we also want to pique people's interest in the culture. Uh, hence why we have the, the wall mural with Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong, all the jazz greats. And I'll say this, uh, jazz was spun in a time of social tensions. Literally, Louis Armstrong would go around in the early 1900s and just play music, and that's what brought people together. They figured coffee could do the same thing. It brings people together. Just over a month since their grand opening soiree, a Black-owned jazz coffee bar has grossed just over $70,000. Just take a quick glance at their social media and you'll see their popularity is growing by the day. It's become the newest go-to spot in Trinity Grove, serving up more than just a hot cup of Java. We don't just want to be known for being another Black-owned business. Owners Tara LaFray and Clyde wanted to create a space that not only unapologetically represents Black excellence, but also reinforces the power of collaboration. Brunchaholics. Um, has curated our weekend brunch menu on Saturdays and Sundays from 11 to 5. It, it means so much because it shows unity. It shows that there's enough out here for all of us to to have and to thrive off of. And during a year when we've all witnessed racial tensions reach a boiling point, for Tara, well, the inspiration behind this coffee bar, it holds a deeper meaning. It's literally like us taking a stand and, and having a stake in the community and kind of like taking uh, a seat at the tables we've been built. A seat at the table that the owners hope will help all who visit create meaningful memories through coffee, culture, and community.